Hi everyone, I'm Krista, teacher of Crystal Healing Classes, as well as Crystal Healing Therapist and Holistic Healer. So welcome to my video on crystal skulls. So do you have a fascination for crystal skulls? Do you have one in your crystal collection? Or maybe you don't have one in your crystal collection, but you've seen them in stores or have seen them in crystal shops online. And have you ever wondered how to go deeper into crystal healing and working with that skull to bring about personal healing? I used to think crystal skulls were really creepy and I didn't want to have anything to do with them. And uh, one day I saw some crystal skulls in a shop and I thought, you know, why do I have an aversion to this? I should really look at this and uh, I should, you know, get one and work with it and really see what it can do. So I did. So I made a, another video a while back that I will post in the comments below talking about my crystal skulls and some healing phenomena that happens with those skulls so that you can watch that video. Since making that video and working with crystal skulls, I have grown my crystal skull collection. I have some more skulls in my crystal collection that I would love to show you in this video. And when I've been working with crystal skulls and developing healing techniques, I've actually put all of these beautiful healing techniques into a very special online crystal healing class that I am offering on October 12th at 9 a.m. Pacific time. And this is a two hour crystal class where it's live on Zoom, where we gather together and we're able to see each other and interact with each other. And I will teach you some beautiful crystal healing techniques to work with your crystal skull. These techniques that I've worked with over many, many years and have developed into this class. So I invite you to come to that class. So I just wanna talk a little bit about what you will learn in that class. So in that class, you'll learn how to care for your crystal skull, how to cleanse it properly. We will also learn how to activate your crystal healing skull to activate and unlock its healing potential, as well as form a very special, deeper connection to your crystal skull. In that class, you will also learn a beautiful healing technique to heal for physical healing, releasing pain in the body and enhancing cellular rejuvenation. You will learn how to work with the crystal skull to cleanse emotions and stress states that can get stuck in the body, creating imbalances there, also getting stuck in the chakras and the aura. So we'll learn how to do some beautiful chakra clearing work with the crystal skull. Also in that class, we'll learn how to do beautiful healing meditations to connect to your own inner wisdom, working with the crystal skull to access that inner wisdom, which can help you to make better decisions in your life, as well as bring healing to you. Also, we'll learn how to clear unhealthy ancestral patterns that we can inherit, as well as negative belief systems from our ancestors that can be limiting success in life. So limiting financial success or career success, work success, success in relationships. So we'll learn how to clear those unhealthy patterns to then embrace deeper success in our lives and help us to thrive in our lives. Also, we will learn how to work with a crystal grid of 13 crystals. So there is a legend about 13 crystals. I will talk about that legend in the class and how to work with a beautiful crystal healing grid to bring healing to the planet and healing to humanity. So when there's uh, situations going on globally, we can actually work with a crystal grid to bring about healing. And uh, as I make this video, we are in the middle of a pandemic, the COVID pandemic. So this will help you to work with the grid to bring healing to humanity, those that are suffering, families that are suffering. We've had a lot going on politically in the world as well, so bringing healing to those world events, as well as we had a lot of uh, catastrophes happen, forest fires, hurricanes, floodings, explosions. So we can work with that very special crystal healing grid of crystal skulls to bring healing to those types of catastrophes, natural disasters, man-made disasters. And learning how to do this is beautiful because then you're in service to humanity and the planet to bring healing and upraise the vibration to a higher level for the planet, for plants, animals, the earth, and all of humanity. So we will learn how to do that. Also in this class, uh, you'll learn how to work with the crystal skull to bring healing into a home, a room, or a workspace to release any emotional congestion that might be building up in that space and to raise the vibration of that space to a high, bright, loving vibration 
to help that space become a healing sanctuary for you. So if you're spending time in that room or in your home, that it feels good for you, bringing healing. If it's a workspace, also helping you to work and be productive. So we learn a lot in this class. So if you'd like to register for that class, you can go to my website, learncrystalhealing.com or my other website, kristalin.ca. So I'll leave the links to that uh, in the comments below. All right, so I wanna show you some of the new skulls that are in my crystal collection. So this is a little bit of crystal skull show and tell now. So I have this one here, and uh, this one is an amethyst, chevron amethyst to be precise. And I really love the sweet energy of this skull. When I work with this crystal skull, I love to meditate with it. Amethyst has a beautiful soothing, healing energy. So if I've had a really busy day, I've had a lot on the go, I love to meditate with the skull in the evening just to help to de-stress, unwind, and I'll do that before bed. And then I will place this crystal skull on my bedside table and it will continue to radiate soothing, relaxing, healing energy to me while I sleep so I can have a deeper sleep. Sometimes if I have a lot on the go, I can be tired but wired at the same time. So I find this crystal skull helps to release that stress and tension in my nervous system, helping me to have a deeper sleep and also nice dreams. <laughs> Uh, the next one I have is this one here. So this is a rose quartz skull. It's very, very light pink. It's a little bit hard to see the features of this one. This one has a really nice loving energy. So if I want to embody sweetness and loving energy and bring that more into my day and my activities in the day, I will work with this skull to really be centered in my heart and bringing out beautiful heart energy into everything I do. Love, compassion, sweetness and joy. So I love to work with this crystal skull for that. Another one I have here is a carnelian skull. It's beautiful, deep red carnelian skull. I love to work with this one when I need to get things done. So if I have a lot to do in the day and I kind of look at my to-do list, I'm like, oh, I don't feel like doing these things today. This one helps me to give me drive, motivation. It helps to get my energy levels up so I can do my tasks, get things done, get the job done, and uh, still have energy left over at the end of the day. So I like to work with this skull for productivity specifically, especially when I don't feel like doing things. So if that's chores around the house, and I don't feel like doing that or even work-related tasks, I will work with this skull to get me doing those things, being productive, having good motivation, drive to do it. The next skull I have is this one here. So this one is a tiger eye, golden tiger eye. And I'll just turn it around. It's got some beautiful stripes here. It also has this nice round circle at the crown. And I also love to work with this one if I'm too much in my head and thinking too much, analyzing things too much, or doing a lot of mental work and I'm getting uh, fatigued mentally. This helps to lift that fatigue, also helps me to focus and to have really good concentration so that I'm not distracted, so that I can also get things done and be productive. This one also works directly on the solar plexus chakra and helps to empower that chakra, giving me empowered energy, confident energy, and also puts me in a positive mind mindset of I can and I will so I can do it I will do it I'll get it done and it will be good so this skull helps me with that so these are some of the uh, crystal skulls that I have in my collection. In my previous video that I made a while back, I also show, showed this skull here. Um, so this is one of the, uh, actually this is the second skull that I ever got in my collection. The first skull that I got was this one here. So the one I just showed you was uh, quartz. This one is a smoky quartz. and. Um, this was the first skull that I got uh, that I started working with that got me into the world of uh, crystal skulls and healing with them. So I, I talk about these skulls and the healing phenomena of those skulls in my other video, so I will post that there. And I used to think that the skulls were creepy and weird, but once I started working with them, I absolutely love them. So I would love to know if you guys have a crystal skull in your collection, or if not, I'd love to hear that too. And if you could please write in the comments below, do you have a crystal skull? What is the crystal skull uh, like? Is it a humanoid skull? Skulls also come in animal skulls, raven skulls, dragon skulls, even mine skulls where the back of the skull is elongated. So I would love to know what type of skull you have in your crystal collection. And also, what is the crystal or gemstone? Is it clear quartz, smoky quartz, amethyst, jade, 
labradorite i would love to know that too and how you work with your crystal skulls so i invite you to come to our online crystal skull class on october the 10th at 9 a.m pacific time two hour class and any type of crystal skull you can work with for that class so if it's a human type crystal skull or an animal type or dragon skull you're welcome to work with any of those or all of those so i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching lots of love light and blessings to all of you and namaste